Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be comparing the Radeon RX 570 with the GeForce CTX 1050 Ti on 10 games released on 2018. But this time around using an i3 8100, I'll be doing 1080p across the whole video and the same settings on both graphics cards. To skip down at those sections of the video, check the timestamps down in the description. And if you want to support the channel by buying games for yourself, check one of the humble affiliate links down in the description as well. In the previous comparison I did with the RX 570, I used the i5 8400, but I know that not everyone has a 6 core CPU, so I'm testing a quad core CPU this time around. For more budget oriented people out there, you can get quad core CPUs pretty cheap nowadays, like the Ryzen 3 lineup. I saw more RAM usage on the RX 570 in most cases, especially in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Lowering the texture quality there helped me to reduce the RAM usage on the AMD card, so it seems that the game wants to use more VRAM compared to the Nvidia card. But on all games tested, the RX 570 got a higher frame rate, and in some games that run better on Nvidia, like Assassin's Creed Odyssey, the difference was smaller between the cards, so if the price in your country is very close between these, I recommend going for the RX 570, even if you are limited by the CPU. Other things that I noticed, especially in Sunset Overdrive and some Unreal Engine 4 games, was more noticeable stutter on the RX 570. I consider this more of a CPU thing, since on Sunset Overdrive the GPU usage on the AMD card dropped quite a bit in those cases. Capping the frame rate to 60 would make those stutters much less noticeable, since we are getting a higher frame rate. That stresses the CPU more. I will be doing more tests on the RX 570. At the moment, I think it's pretty good value considering the prices I see as of today. Of course, this will vary from country to country, so check prices on your own country if you're undecided between these. The RX 570 I used here requires a neck pin cable. On the GTX 1050 Ti's side, it just uses the power provided by the PCI Express slot, so keep that in mind. But anyway, guys, that's about it. I'll not let the video do the talking. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.
comms check. Hear you loud and clear. I'm going to monitor your progress from a safe distance. That's a standard issue Black Hand service rifle. With an underbarrel grenade launcher. Down to its bases. Don't worry. The road is walled off. Can you get over it? Terminator guy who's working on Batty's house? Same guy who just did Cassidy's, right? Yeah. So, I let him use the green shipping container to store some chemicals. I asked him if it was poisonous, but he said sure. Yeah, yeah Doc, I know. know. This Batty guy drives me crazy. Every time he sees me, he comes out and wants to talk. And the problem is he just won't shut up. Another day, another mission, risking our necks for the Ark. You know, I ask myself, Ducks, why are you out here? And you know why. The Ark's water pump is broken again, and Hammond said he needs more scrap to fix it. Yeah, well, we'd do it a lot better if he'd sent us somewhere with actual scrap to find. Why do you have to be so annoying? Come on. We gotta head back before Prep closes for the night. Trust me, I'm not annoying. Shut the hell up. Wanna see annoying? I can show you annoying. What's wrong with you? We're in the zone. Keep your eyes open and... Mouth shut. Yeah, you only told me that 9,000 times already, Borman. The air 
Stalkers think like mutants. Not just any mutants. Stalkers. Tight muscles. Get home. Oh. 